ending its promises to the country should it form the next government. The party insists plans like providing Jamaicans with money towards their utility bills can be done despite the economic crisis. Now, more in this report from Duane Anderson. This is what PNP campaign spokesperson Lisa Hanna said some persons have been calling the party's wealthy planner. The PNP just have a little pie in the sky um, thing going on. But the party is again defending its election promises. First up is the matter of utilities. The PNP says if it becomes the next government, it will help pay the light and water bills of Jamaicans for at least one year. Under the plan, it would pay $1,000 on the water bills and $3,000 towards electricity bills. Damian Crawford explained that the spend is to help persons struggling with their bills due to COVID-19. The JP had a compassionate and care package that valued $11.5 billion. To get it, you have to apply, you have to go stand in the sun and expose yourself to COVID. We felt that a more equitable and efficient methodology that considered a wider group of persons, including those not directly employed to the tourism industry, should be considered. And this one will assist a million people, 260,000 houses at $4,000 per month, much more than the 10,000 that they have gotten over the last five or and six stimulated. months. In addition, the party insists no new taxes will be needed to pay for this. You don't do that by taxing people more. What we plan to do is to reorient the discretionary portion of the budget to achieve the things that we feel are the priorities that put the people at the center of development. Neither will we need to borrow to pay for it. We have made the sacrifices already through running very tight and balanced budgets. Now we can, we can introduce some slack so that we are able to revive the economy. The truth is at the present time, no one knows where the bottom of the COVID crisis is. We have no plan to return to a boring relationship with the fund. Next up is the plan for housing. The PNP says should it form the next government, it wants to construct 130,000 houses. Mark Golding stopped short of saying the target is too ambitious. In terms of delivering 130,000 housing units over five years, it's definitely a stretch target. Um, we've discussed um, had meetings with developers locally to see what capacity there is to deliver on that. And it's going to require all hands on deck. The press conference allowed very few questions from the media. So the PNP was not forced to put timelines on these plans, especially given the economic fallout arising from the COVID-19 pandemic. But in giving something close to a time frame for the promises, Mr. Golding used the word phasing. We are fully mindful of the fact that we are now in an economic crisis. And indeed, up to yesterday, the Bank of Jamaica um, announced that their projections for the GDP growth, for the size of the economy for this fiscal year, is worsening um, from roughly 6% of GDP contraction, which is what they had originally projected, mm -hmm. I think, back in March, now for 7 to 10%. So one has to be realistic. And in phasing this, we will be, we will be um, mindful of what can be achieved in the current realities and what will have to um, wait for the economy to respond to. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.